All right, we want to continue with one of our top stories this morning. Uh, that is the federal government's new program to encourage employers to keep Canadians on the payroll. So who qualifies and when will the money start to come? To find out, I am joined now by Innovation Science and Industry Minister Navdeep Bains. Good to have you with us this morning. Thanks very much for having me on. Uh, Minister, when will Parliament be recalled to pass this legislation and do you have the full support of the other parties? So we want to resume Parliament as soon as possible. We're working with the other political parties to determine the exact timeline. And the goal is to work with them. Uh, we believe during this crisis, uh, this is a nonpartisan issue. We all need to work together and really help Canadians who desperately need this money uh, because they need to pay for the bills, they are dealing with groceries, they need to pay rent. Uh, so we understand how important it is to get this money out uh, for individuals and also businesses as well. Both on the health care and on the economic side, time and speed is of the essence. This subsidy that's been announced is going to pay, as a reminder to our viewers, $847 per week for each employee of a business that has lost 30% or more of their revenue. Now, those employers are going to have to apply for this every month. So when will they see this money and when will payroll start to flow? So the goal is that this will be retroactive to March 15th. Uh, we recognize that we're trying to capture the time prior to the crisis as well. So if you were working for a firm and this crisis hit, uh, those companies are eligible. They need to demonstrate, as you said, a 30% reduction in gross revenue. Uh, they have to provide a monthly submission. Uh, and what we're suggesting to make it easier and more quick, uh, quick in terms of getting the monies to the companies is go to the Canadian Revenue Agency and set up your business account so we're able to provide that direct deposit as opposed to waiting for a check in the mail. Uh, yes, that is a good reminder, but what I'm curious about is, is there a time span of when small business owners, when employers can expect to see that money in their accounts so that they can then pay their employees? Is it weeks? That's a very fair question. Yeah, exactly. It's a very fair question. As you can imagine, programs like this take months and years to develop. We're doing it in a matter of days and weeks. Uh, but to answer your question more specifically, they should get the money within four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. Okay, that helps for planning. Small businesses are asking for rent relief. Your government has said it's going to do uh, more to help the airline industry, but there's no specific details on that yet. Are there more measures that you're planning to roll out to help specific sectors of our economy? Yeah, we are going to advance in assisting the overall economic situation. Our first goal was to make sure that we deal with the health crisis and flattening that curve and not putting any unnecessary burden on the health care system. Uh, that's why we're asking people to stay home and not travel. And that has clear economic consequences. And in order to deal with those challenges, we're trying to provide direct support to individuals and businesses. But we also recognize this is impacting sectors as well. The aviation sector, as you mentioned, tourism, hospitality, the oil and gas. So we're going to be examining all these sectors and moving forward in a manner to make sure that when we recover and when we get to this crisis, mm -hmm. which, by the way, we will, uh, we want to make sure that we have a quick economic recovery and support these essential sectors. Minister, I want to warn you, we only have you know less than a minute, about 30 seconds left. I want to ask you about the stories we are hearing about gouging along supply lines for essential businesses that are still open and operating. Uh, yesterday on your morning, Small Business Minister Mary Ng said your government would be looking into that. Right now, what can a business owner do if they feel like they're being gouged? I suggest they go to canda.ca slash coronavirus. We have all the relevant information if they're being gouged, if they need any additional support or assistance. Go to that website and all that relevant information will be there. Uh, is there any enforcement coming from the federal government for those who are uh, suspected of gouging? Well, make no mistake, uh, we want to hold people accountable for their behavior. The Competition Bureau is also looking into the situation as well. Uh, we have different tools in our legislative toolbox to examine such bad behavior and bad actors. But in the meantime, if people have immediate concerns or issues, they should never hesitate to go to canda.ca slash coronavirus where they can provide uh, those additional uh, pieces of information for us to be able to follow up properly. Minister, we know that this is a very busy time uh, for you, and we want to thank you for making time to be with us here on your morning. Thanks very much for having me on. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.